Greetings RC friends, welcome to Props and Wheels and to the second episode of the review of the FMS Ranger 1220. The wingspan is 1220 millimeters and this is the you know, larger version of the Ranger 850 below over here that you see. And I had a fantastic experience with this little Ranger. And when I saw this larger one for $25.90 at Banggood and $4 shipping and insurance, I had to buy it and I got it for myself or as a Christmas present. Christmas from me to myself. Anyway, um, I just did the assembly this morning. It was quite uneventful. Everything was uh, came together quickly and very nicely. I think I used only four screws or five screws plus these two plastic retainers for the wing and that was it and then just connections to my receiver. I'm using a four channel corner receiver on this one and I had some issues. It came with the stabilization system I called Reflex. However, when I put the Reflex on, it never connected to the, um, to the receiver so I had to pull it off. So this is right now not stabilized fully manual baby and I'll be flying it today. It's a little cold, my hands are already getting you know, frozen, but the wind is not too bad. This is uh, probably the last few days before it starts raining or snowing or a mix. So, wish me good luck, and with that said, I'm going to take off now. Final check, a lot of trolls as you can see, I haven't put any rates on it, but I don't think I'm going to need them. It's a little windy, you can probably tell from the way it is that the wings are shaking a little bit. But it doesn't need much, much trim. I haven't trimmed it so far because it is flying pretty good. Let me come in for a nice uh, low and slow approach. Prop. You lost the prop. Oh. I should have probably checked. <laughs> I assume that it was fine. And always check everything. Don't assume. This is, the mistake is on me. So probably I'm not going to find it. So it was a short maiden. Hopefully it's not broken. I'm just going to take a look. But the prop flew off. I don't think I'm, I'm going to look for it, but I don't think I'll be able to find it. Let's see if uh, we'll be able to find the prop. Oh, the, oh, that's the prop? Oh, the spinner seat. Oh, yeah. It came down here. Interesting. I, I, in that case, I'm just missing probably a... Uh, nut and washer. Nut and washer. I, I, I don't think we are going to find it now. Uh, maybe on the way back, I, I'll look for it. But, uh, yeah, I have to... At least, uh, thank you for finding the prop and the spinner. And I am hoping that it is still in one piece because I didn't uh, see where it was landing. I was just trying to set it over the soft grass, but I think it found a little bit of a brush over here. It was coming down uh, nice and slow. Uh, Looks all one piece. Uh, I don't see any any broken parts. So everything seems to be here except that the washer and the nut, unfortunately. Well, for what's worth, it was a good maiden so far. I don't think that's the washer now. 
<laughs> no, it's uh, too big and there are a couple of those. Well, I'll be looking for those for maybe 15 minutes. I'm going to sign off now. And if I find them, I'll come back for more flying because this is too small. It's not going to pull. <laughs> All right, folks, thank you very much for watching. Sorry for the short flight. This teaches me, you know, every time I learn something new. Yes, don't trust the factory uh, tightening of all the screws, you know, check them. Especially the, the, the prop, especially the prop. Anyway, stay safe and healthy. See you on the next video. Bye-bye.